Axe shock and spit it out. Alright, next one. Axe shock and spit it out. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. It's term two. We're tasked to make a music video. I've failed my previous task. I knew that I had to make something decent so I didn't fail the whole, like, term. So I was kind of struggling, thinking of an idea of what to do with my music video. And in class one day, Dylan came up to me and asked me if I want to join him making his music video. He basically carried me and we both got an A. So that was pop. I came up with this idea that I could execute solely on my own, where I'd place cameras around my house to make it look like security footage. But turns out, it didn't have to be a solo project anymore, so I decided that I'd add a bit to the end where I'd get chased around because I thought that was funny, and it wasn't. When Dylan asked me to act in his video, I said yes, because I didn't want to let him down, because we're friends. The song itself, I wanted something that really, like, picked up at the end. And this song, like, really allowed us to do that. Deacon showed up, like, three hours late. Um, he didn't even have to bring the camera equipment. I brought it all. Uh, I was the one who booked it out and all the audio equipment. So, for, like, the first few shots, I was getting so impatient that he didn't come. So I started setting up tripods and filming, like, the first parts of my video like myself. Recording, I used a gimbal, my phone as a camera. Uh, we used a tripod and an LED light. Halfway through recording, the gimbal died, it ran out of battery, and I had to use my hand the rest of the video. Not what? <laughs> Is it dead? Better freaking not be. Is it dead? It's dead, right? I, I, I don't know. Zach's pretty easy to cooperate with. Um, in the shed, he did everything that we told him to. That's brilliant. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. That's good, that's good. Hello MTV and welcome to my crib. This, this is my garage. This was the cabinet that was sitting behind Zach. We got this office chair set up. We set up a fold-out table. We moved literally everything around to make this set. Uh, we got a bunch of, like, office appliances. We got a laptop, stapler, you know. The lightsaber scene. That was the most fun scene, I would say. It was kind of hard getting beat, but we had a pillow, so it was fine. It was cushioning. Didn't really get hurt that much. The editing process for the lightsaber was super tedious. Um, it looks, like, super easy, and you'd think it would be but it's just very time consuming. So I was editing my lightsaber stuff uh, all the way down to the Friday it was due. By about four in the morning, it managed to work and I managed to like submit my, well, I didn't submit it because it's media. I put it on the USB and it worked. So I was lucky. I put off all my other assignments for that. <laughs> Uh, overall, I really like the film because I'm in it and also because I know how much hard work De Deacon and Dylan put into editing and the cinematography, so yeah. We got an A, we got 25 of 25 marks, so yeah, I was right with that. That was, that was a pretty good mark. How, how do you think about your end product? Um, yeah, it was alright. I'm better.